morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be. We are back in better than ever, and today we're going to have a little talk about quadratic equations of the form x squared is equal to k, so let's get to it, shall we? All right, so a uh, quick consideration here. If I have the equation that x squared is equal to 7, we know that root 7 times root 7 is equal to 7, so x is equal to the square root of 7. Ah, but there's another solution, isn't there? Because we know that a negative multiplied by a negative is equal to a positive. Okay, So we can say that if x squared is equal to 7, then x is equal to plus or minus root 7. There we go. So here's some solutions for x squared is equal to k. If x squared equals k, then um, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of k. If k is positive, think about that. If it's 0, then um, x equals 0 if k is equal to 0, because 0 is neither positive nor negative. And if it's less than 0, at this point within the real number system, we are unable to calculate the square roots of a negative number. So let's put this uh, to work, shall we? We're going to solve for x. Um, these should be uh, pretty quick, pretty straightforward. So um, 2x squared plus 1 equals 15. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I have 2x squared is equal to 14. Divide both sides by 2. x squared equals 7. So taking the square root of both sides, I get plus or minus root 7. Boy, didn't we just have this a second ago? Squared equals 7. All right. B, 2 minus 3x squared is equal to 8. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides, and I'll get negative 3x squared is equal to 6. Uh, divide both sides by negative 3, and I get x squared is equal to negative 2, which in the real, uh, real number system, uh, there are no solutions. So we would just say no solutions. Um, and if you think about it, or another way to think about it is, there is nothing that I can square that is going to give me a negative number because you're multiplying a number by itself. So it's either going to be a positive times a positive, which is a positive, or a negative times a negative, which is also a positive. So it's just not possible. All right, next example, solve for x. Okay, so now I have uh, a quantity squared equal to uh, something. Well, the rules don't change. Um, all I have to do, it's, it's just like if you think of x at anything squared to solve for it, I can take the square root of both sides. So, um, x minus 3 squared is equal to 16, so that means that x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 16. So, x minus 3 is equal to plus or minus 4. Now, make sure you understand what this is really saying is either x minus 3 is equal to 4 or x minus 3 is equal to negative 4. So here we would get x is equal to 7, adding 3 to both sides, or x is equal to negative 1. And don't get yourself confused saying, I can't take the square root of a negative number. No one's asking you to do that. This is just a solution to um, this equation. If I replace x with negative 1, negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4, and certainly negative 4 squared is 16. And 7 minus 3, if I replace x with 7 here, 7 minus 3 is 4, and 4 squared is 16. So let's take a, that was a, so let's go over here and take a look at b. Um, x plus 2 squared is equal to 11. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. So that's plus or minus the square root of 11. Um, it's not a perfect square, so I'm just going to leave it like that as 2 plus or minus root 11. And you don't have to write out x equals 2 plus root 11, x equals 2 minus root 11. This is an acceptable form when we can't simplify the radical. Over here, 16 was a perfect square, so it makes sense to simplify your answers as much as possible. 
All right, that is all I have on this particular topic. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's see how of monsters are men, men uh, of monsters and men are doing, and with their little talks. And then I will say that I am out.